Okay, so what I wanted to do today is go over some of the books that I've been reading. I try to be an active reader, and I just want to discuss some of the books and keep a record of them uh, that I've been reading. These books that I have in front of me, I've been going over the last couple months or so. What I have first here is Haiti, the Black, Black Republic. Pretty good book. Uh, Purchase is used at a bookstore in uh, downtown Philadelphia about a month ago. Pretty good book. First starts off with the history of Haiti. And then you also have some information on cultural information, the arts. Really good cultural information in this book. At the end, it's kind of like a travel book. And the book itself is kind of out of date. So the information is kind of played out. But still a pretty good book to read. Now, you know, one of the things I did not do when I was younger is reread books. Now, I'm very um, comfortable rereading books because I figure that, hey, if I can see a movie several times, I can watch a television show several times, should be able to read a book several times. And this is the autobiography of Langston Hughes. And Langston Hughes is a huge influence on me. You know, this is a man who, born in 1902, and uh, I believe it was Joplin, Missouri, if I'm not mistaken. And basically lived all over, lived a very full life, was an extremely creative individual, but never really made a lot of money. But he squeezed a lot of life out of uh, all the various experiences this man actually uh, went through. And you can get a sense of those experiences by reading his autobiography, The Big C. And the second volume, I Wonder As I Wander. Both of these are excellent. I think anyone who gets an opportunity should try to read these books. They're really fantastic. And really something that any person, no matter what your age, your color, your ethnic origins, whatever, I think you can be very much inspired and influenced by these books. So uh, definitely recommended and I'll probably be rereading these sometime in the future they're very wonderful um, then I have here Ishmael Reed now I've talked about Ishmael Reed on uh, other videos and I think this is actually the first you know it's not actually it's definitely the first book by Ishmael Reed that I ever purchased and this book is really fabulous after I read it the first time, it's a collection of essays, essentially. And after I gave it the first run through, I read my favorite essays again and again and again. Um, over the course of um, a couple of weeks, and um, just really fabulous book. You know, basically what Ishmael Reed talks about is the, basically the plight of African Americans in the United States and how many people play politics with the African-American community. Uh, one thing he talks about a lot is how people point fingers, disparaging fingers at African-Americans. Um, and this is uh, things that are found within their own communities, but they ignore and try to gain political points by uh, attacking African-Americans. Uh, so this is an excellent book. I suggest anyone read it. Um, very, very fun. i uh, probably be reading, rereading this again. Uh, it's really, really, really was something that really um, explained uh, a lot of things that I felt. And really, and his scholarship is excellent. I mean, you know, I can't say enough about this book. Uh, what I'm reading right now, and this book is familiar if you saw my last video, the History of the French New Wave. Uh, now this book, um, I'm really ready to read this again. Not just because I have a video, I have a series of videos that I've uh, collected into the playlist. That really, you know, led me to pick this book up again. It's been years since I've read it. And it's, it's time for me to reread it again because I have so much more information that I know that a lot of the information within this book is a lot more relevant to me. Uh, that information is live now. So um, even just in the 
I think I'm about 20 or 30 pages in. My understanding of what I'm reading now is just so much greater than when I first picked up this book in the early 2000s. So I'm really happy to be rereading this. And um, I think it's going to give me some further insight, which I can use to maybe either expand or change the playlist of the French New Wave that I have. Uh, because there's a lot of interesting tidbits that I'm picking up on that I didn't pick up previously. So, yeah, these are just some of the books uh, that I've currently been reading. I also have some digital books uh, that I have now. You know, the thing about the digital books, like each one of these books are a lot larger than the iPod uh, or my iPhone. And on my iPod or iPhone, I have, you know, 100 books. Uh, so the opportunity to expand your library without actually increasing the size, I mean, even these small number of books, I mean, this will fill a pack. Uh, so the just the ability to carry around an entire library in your pocket, it just can't be beat. Now, one thing is I'm very, I guess it's just because of my experiences of being a reader, I'm more likely to finish a book in, when it's a physical copy than I am when it's a digital copy. I have completed digital books in the past. Uh, I will continue to uh, complete digital books in the future, but I'm just not as as uh, diligent as a reader when it comes to the digital book. So you have to retrain yourself. So um, I'm in the process of doing that. I have so many wonderful physical books that I'm rereading or uh, reading for the first time. So um, I'm not as I'm not as diligent as I would like to be as far as uh, really mastering the digital copies, but I'm getting there. And I, I probably also talk about some digital books in the future, although it's a lot easier to present the physical ones. But hey, thanks for watching. Peace.